Thanks in the hair locker. Yeah, if you've not seen it, I'm putting it on in a minute. It's an hour and a half long. It's fucking brilliant. That's good it is. Now that, that's what I'll tell you my job is like, because we've got to live for today, because we could be dead tomorrow, but I'm a civilian bomb disposal engineer now. I might get up, it's not as glamorous. It's, uh, it's not that good, is it? My friends thought I said that looked like a minion from Despicable Me. If you don't know what a minion is, here's a minion. I mean, here's me back at work. I just, I don't see the resemblance, right? But I'll tell you what I do on my day-to-day -day job then. So, I'm on building sites looking for World War II bombs. Wherever the bombs were dropped, we go there and make sure the ground's clear and stuff like that. A little fact, it's not funny, but when this building got made, it had to be checked for bombs. They didn't let me do it though. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're all still here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's what I'll do, right? But what this picture's telling you, you've got a digger driver, he's in an armoured cab, he's got bulletproof glass, basically he's in a tank. And I've just got a helmet on and a little bit of body armour. Yeah, so digger drivers are more important than bomb disposal engineers, is what that picture's telling me. But um, so, I d it is a bit boring, so to spice it up, I like to do a little bit of, um, I do a little bit of bomb surfing when I can. There's a 500 pound bomb there, quite dangerous. And if that's not extreme enough, I like to do a little bit of planking. Right, granted, planking is supposed to lay flat over an object, aren't you? But I'm a lazy fat sod these days, so I just, I just take the shape of whatever I'm planking. A few ladies have liked to take the shape of an ear, to be honest. <laughs> I'm looking proud, I like it. But um, I, I, do, I do get heckled a bit because of this whole accent, it's a bit camping. So you're not bomb disposal, you're bum disposal, so there's, uh, there's 50 kilogram in there. <laughs> yeah, when I go to the toilet, it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Saves on paper, doesn't it? <laughs> But yeah, I, I spend my days doing com my nights doing comedy, my days doing bomb disposal, so really what I do on my building sites is uh, I just sleep in the van when I can. And I must let you lovely audience know, right, I'm not masturbating in that picture. <laughs> my mate said, you're not going to use that at the Broadus Arena in Hull, it looks like you're having a wank. <laughs> I'm not having a wank in that picture, right, I promise you, alright. Um, but um, I, I did get some good stuff out of doing this bomb disposal comedian stuff. I, uh, I got up to this, I got interviewed for the whole Daily Mail, give me a big ooh! <laughs> Look at that, two pages of me. Well, you can go to a free day pass to London, but it's not about that. <laughs> That's not something, yeah. It's mostly about that, right? But the best thing of this whole interview, right, is this little section here. It says, in his flesh of pipes or walls, he could possibly be mistaken for a council worker or a big man by the casual observer. <laughs> I thought that was brilliant, me. Eh? When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a big man. Got to work one day a week, got not they? I actually went for a job interview, I said, will I get any training? He went, no, no, you just pick it up as you go along. Hey! Come on, the rubbish job! Look at that, that's good, isn't it? Um, also, I was also on the TV.